All right, so what's going on folks? Well, um, we finally hit that 300 marker for subs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for a little ride and we're gonna go to Academy Sports and Outdoors and I'm gonna buy you guys some fish baits and uh, we're gonna do a little giveaway for the 300 subs. All right, so let's get into this video and y'all check this thing out. Cause we like to hunt, hunt, fish, fish, play out in the mud. That's the way we do round here, so now you know what's the Well, here we are. We're at Academy Sports and Outdoors. The intro pretty much will sum it up and tell you what we're doing here. But um, we're getting ready to do a giveaway. And I'm gonna buy you guys a bunch of baits and I'm gonna give them away. So uh, here we go, let's get started. Um, we're gonna go ahead and grab, here, let me just put this basket down on the floor to make this a whole lot easier. We're gonna grab one of these. Whopper Plopper 90, black and white. Everybody needs a good lipless crankbait, so we'll get one of these Strike Kings right here in a chartreuse. And everybody needs a good spinner bait, so we'll get one of these uh, Hack Attacks here. We'll go over all these baits once we get back home and the shopping spree's over. And of course, we can't pass up the Yamamatos, so we'll grab these. And we need some good hooks for those Yamamatos, so we'll get some Gamagatsus. We'll go with, uh, yeah, we'll go with those. And then we need some weights, because we always got to have weights. Um, Where's the ones I use? Where's the ones I use? Where's the ones I use? We'll go with 16 ounce because the Yamamatos have a good weight to them already. They can be either fished weightless or without a weight. With the weight or without a weight. And a Spro Frog. Some KVD Cross. Maybe a bluegill colored uh, swim jig. And two packages of these 360 GT swim baits. One package is for me, so don't get all excited there. Alright, so we're back. And pretty much $80 later. So we'll get all these guys laid out here what we got. And I'll run through and talk about everybody and everything. And so we'll start pretty much, I don't know, I don't even remember what order I bought all this stuff in in the video. But uh, so anyways, we got the black and yellow, whopper plopper, black and white, black and yellow, whatever. Um, official name for it is uh, Yellowhead. It's a 90. It's one of the smaller ones, basically a topwater bait. Um, you just cast it out and reel it back, basically, but it's topwater. So uh, there's that one. We got a chartreuse and white hack attack spinner bait, uh, half ounce. Y'all know how to run those. Pretty simple bait. Um, my suggestion, though, would throw you a trailer on here. It'll get you a little bit better response. Um, you know whether it's a craw. A swim bait, a fluke, something. Okay, so we got that. Just bare bones, bare simple, lipless crankbait, rattling. Gives you a nice response, good for the uh, the reaction bite. Um, proper name on this one is uh, Red Eyed Shad, I think is what it's called. But it's basically chartreuse. Alright, so there's that. Got us a Spro Frog, Topwater Frog. Um, it's called the Bronze Eye 65. Um, I can't say that I've ever used it, because uh, when I do use frogs, I use just the cheap Academy brand ones because I tend to lose them. And uh, yeah, so, got you the good one. Okay, uh, we got us, let's move on to this. We got us some. 360 GT crank uh, blah, 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 swim baits. Um, 
Never used them before, but I did buy myself a package of them so I can try them out. It says it's an eighth ounce, comes with one head with a hook in it and two replacement little swim baits. Again, never used them. Um, I've used some of the KDD Hack Attack, or not Hack Attack, but I've used some of the uh, Strike King ones. Yeah, not bad. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of swim bait um, fishing, but I'm trying to get into it. A buddy of mine does it quite a bit, so trying it out. Uh, and we got us a swim jig. Uh, perch colored, 3 8 ounce. Again, this is another one of those that I would suggest putting a trailer on it. You know, again, a craw, something like that. Um, the next one that I'm going to talk about is these KVD plastic craws. Um, that'd be a perfect little presentation right there. Hook one of those, cut it down about halfway, hook one of those on there and do it. Um, so let's move into those. That's KVD. Uh, Perfect plastic double header craw. It's a six pack. They're four inches. Um, they're not really a craw. They're more of a creature bait, I guess you would say. Um, I haven't used these particular ones. I've used some of the uh, Sweet Beavers from Reaction React Innovations. They uh, work really good. Got you a package of four out hooks to go with that. Gary Yamamoto Cinco's. I can't say anything bad about these other than they're extremely soft and you go through them like crazy. But uh, this particular color is uh, watermelon red and green. Um, I've had a lot of good luck on pretty much any watermelon reds, greens, you know, stuff like that. And a package of hooks. And then to go with those craws, if you so decide, we got some uh, eighth ounce bullet weights. You hook these up Texas rig. You can hook these up Texas rig or use them with a trailer. So, there you go. Um, that's pretty much everything we got. Believe it or not, that's $80 worth of baits. Um, I think that's a good giveaway. Um, like I said, right now we are at 300 subscribers. A little over, like 303, something like that. Um, I'm going to tell you all now. We push hard. We hit 500 subscribers. I'll give away another $50 Bass Pro giveaway. Uh, blah. We push real hard. Get up to 500 subscribers. I'll do another $50 uh, Bass Pro card. Um, so, you know, it's, of course, I'm going to try to continue to crank out good quality videos. I'm always thinking ahead and beyond of, you know, I know you guys, I know I get tired of seeing people fish the same fisheries. So, uh, you know, definitely going to try to stay away from that. Um, wow, my camera turned off on me. Anyways, um, so yeah, like I said, I'm sure you guys get tired of people running the same fisheries over and over and over again, so that's one of the things I'm trying to stay away from. I've got a big private lake in Bandera, not the one you've seen me fish, but a different one that I'm working on getting permission to go fish. Um, I got a couple of other little lakes I've just run across recently, in fact, either tomorrow, which is Thursday, or Friday, Melissa and I will probably go hit one up, so we might actually get two different fishermen's I guess you would call it I don't know what you would call it two different people fishing in the same video because I picked up a second GoPro so I might get Melissa to strap one on and see if we can get on some fish at this new lake <clears throat> this new lake that we just found out about and of course all day today I've been working on the uh, extender for my truck so that way I can haul around the kayak and we're getting warm nice weather getting out of this rainy stuff so uh, kayaks getting ready to be on um, I'm working on trying to get on some uh, exotic hunts and stuff like that. So definitely going to take a GoPro and shoot video of that. Just lots of cool stuff coming up, guys. Um, we have a really big car show. You know, another aspect of it, we got a really big car show coming up here in April. That I think what I'm going to do is just strap on the GoPro and go walk with it and just let it record. Let you check out some cars and throw up a video of it. Don't know. We'll see what's up. But, uh. Let me pan over the top of these. This is all the... I can't get it in the camera because I've got it the wrong way. But anyways, there's all your fish baits that we picked up today. And uh, pretty much like with all the giveaways, you need to like the video. You need to comment on the video. And you need to be subscribed to the channel. Let's get away from these whack-ass comments of uh, me, 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 please pick me, I hope I win, blah, 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 blah. Um... Tell you what, let's make it interesting. In the comments section, post where you're from, 
that's always cool to know is where your viewers are from. And I don't know what kind of species you're gonna fish you're gonna target with these. Um, myself, if it was me, I'd be all bass, you know. So kind of curious to see what other people are fishing for and what they're interested in and this, that, and the other. So there you go. Like, comment, subscribe in the comments. Tell me where you're from and what species you're going to target. And uh, one week from today, well actually we won't do one week from today. Today is a Wednesday. So we'll give it one week and two days. I'll do the drawing next Friday. I'll do it just like my last video. I'll throw everybody's name in a, in a pot. We'll sit down here at the table. I'll get Melissa or one of my kids or somebody to step in and help me draw a name out and we'll give it away. So uh, good luck everybody, thanks for watching. We got a video there and a video there and a subscribe over there. See y'all later.